Welcome to the Gippsland League Football Show. Hi, I'm Chris Samillis, the General Manager of the Gippsland League. We've got a Super Grand Final coming up this week at Mall. We have our two top teams, Mafra and Druin. And Keith, if you give us a quick little rundown of how those two teams got there. Yes, well, uh, Mafra had the, the nice run through to Grand Final by winning the second semi-final and had a week's rest. Uh, Druin, on the other hand, had come through a final series of three games. Uh, Winning last week against Tyrrell in an absolute uh, nail-biting finish at Mapra. Um, a game that could have gone either way. Tyrrell been probably a bit unlucky in that uh, it was uh, the last two finals uh, in last quarters where the leaders changed a number of times. But Druin, worthy uh, opponents for Mapra this week. Yeah, it, it look, it's shaping up to be a fantastic game because both teams have got probably the two best on-ball uh, on brigades in the league and one would expect that that's obviously where the game's going to be decided. So do, uh, before we do the on-field, we might do a couple of match-ups in the forward lines. Well, uh, the match-ups are uh, pretty difficult with Mapra's woes with their two key forwards, full forward Adrian Bergier and centre half forward Daniel Stubb, both missing this week, uh, and that is going to cause uh, a fair rejig to the uh, Mafra forward setup. How they go about that, I'm not sure. Nick Horsford, the grand final hero from last year, is obviously uh, a guy who fill the full forward position or one of the key forwards. The other is a very difficult um, choice, I, I would think. You know, players such as Josh, uh, Josh Stubb, uh, young players strong who can play in a variety of positions, may maybe need it down there. Kellen Cloran's another guy who could fill a key forward post, but it's a matter of with those injuries to those two players, Robbie Peter to play ball a bit. Uh, I would also think by necessity with you know, crediting uh, Adrian Bergier and Daniel Stubb with possibly close to half their team's goals that you would expect uh, they would provide. That it may mean that uh, uh, Hayden Bergier plays a bit further down the ground, comes up more around the centre of the wing. Again, that robs him a bit of his setting up play from the half-back line where he sweeps and is able to really set up good attacks with his disposal. So obviously Mapra has a bit of a problem. The other hand, with Drew and Drew goes at this stage has a couple of uh, players under injury clouds. Uh, ben Proctor who plays forward and on the ball and Ben Edwards who plays you know, variety either in defence across a wing or a half forward position. Uh, but Druin's forward structure, the key forwards of uh, Brad Carmody, uh, Troy Nebone and Chris Dunn uh, particularly, yeah, they'll be there again this week. I don't know, I suppose Mapra, depending who they've got to uh, rob from the back line to perhaps shore up their forward line, uh, will determine what the matchups are there. It'll be interesting. I'm not sure who they'll bring in. Uh, obviously, the selectors uh, will be, have a long night on Thursday night. I would think someone like Brendan Rath now, maybe um, a Tommy Tudor, uh, might come in. But um, again, I'm not too sure. But they're on ball brigade. I think we should talk about that. That's been the mainstay of their team for the last eight years. And they've got some terrific players there, led by Ben Coleman. Also, Calvin Porter, who just knocks up getting possessions. And of course, the medal winner, Gary Jones, who's had a great second half of the, uh, of the year. I'm sure Jones, who missed last year's grand final because of a broken ear, he'd want to be really revved up, or he will be revved up to have a great game. Uh, but again, they come up against an a, a equally as good on-board brigade at Druin, which uh, consists of Clinton Proctor, Andy Samillis, Paddy McGrath, and there's two or three others that come in there. So 
the game will be uh, decided by this great on-field brigade. Uh, Maffra is well known for carrying the ball a little bit further. They hang on it to a bit a bit longer until they get a good option, and then they'll pop it over in front of a leading forward. Uh, and as we, as you've said, uh, the two leading forwards are out, but uh, they're such a resilient team and uh, final specialist. They'll manufacture some forward out of there, and I'm sure that uh, they'll still have an avenue to goals. And it's you know it is shaping up to be a great game. Yeah, I think there's a couple of other on balls there at Mapro, Callum Kaloran, who's one of my favourite players in the league, yes. and, and one of the best players, and Craig Robbins, I'm sure will probably get a uh, close checking role on one or several of the drilling players, the drilling on balls. So. Yeah, I, I agree with you that uh, the on-ball situation will be uh, crucial to the outcome of, of the game. In, uh, in the rucks, it's McCallum versus Brent Connolly. Daniel Stubb has done a lot of ruck work for uh, Matt this year as well. Connolly, who had the first half of the season virtually wiped out, uh, recovering from injury, has uh, sort of improved a lot over, over recent rounds. Uh, but he has played a fair bit down forward as well. He, uh, it'll be interesting whether he can carry that full burden of ruck work for uh, the four quarters of the grand final. Yeah, no, I think the back line now, um, we, we, the uh, Mafra back line has got some great players on it. Hayden Burgill and Matthew Johnson who run deep and set up play. Uh, also David Adams who run, who's a very quick runner. Uh, he seems to run out of that back line very well. At Drawn, they've got uh, normally Benny Edwards, not sure how he's going to pull up of course, but David Olsen who seems to be able to be the, one of the best stoppers in the league, always seems to stop the forward lo opposition coming forward. And Dean Woodhead who's uh, been playing very well for him, and then of course at full back, Jay Barr has been doing a great job and uh, Damien Carmody at centre half back. Um, and uh, I've forgotten one is Ben Batala, the ca uh, past captain of the team. Uh, Benny's got a great record of um, good football in finals, and I would expect Ben to be one of the top players in, on the day. Yeah, yeah, I think I think Ben will uh, certainly generate a lot of their play from from across half back and set up their their style of play. Uh, it's a really quite fascinating contest. Uh, uh, you mentioned Matra's strong back line and you went through the, uh, the Druin, Druin players there. Uh, it's interesting the last four games, the three finals and the uh, last home and away game when Druin played Terrelgan. In total Druin has just conceded 29 goals in those four games and that kinds of have sort of kept them in touch um, before they have gone away and, and won some games, finished strongly in most games. So I, I don't, I don't have the big question mark I have is, is just uh, the preparedness for the grand finals. It's a new experience for many drawn players. I know they're excited about it and, and they give it their all. Whether the intensity of the risk have handled the intensity of the from home and away to to the final so far, and then it goes up another step this week. Uh, that is probably the only question over Drew, and I think they've got a very talented side uh, and will uh, really good account of themselves this week and with those couple of uh, you know, really unfortunate injuries for, for Matra, uh, in with a big chance and I actually think they might get over the line, Chris. Yeah, look, um, and I think we should just say one quick thing about the two injuries because from a league perspective we certainly don't like seeing top line players missing and we do wish Adrian Burgill the best with uh, a, uh, an upcoming knee operation and with Digger Stubb we certainly hope that it's alright talking about his football but he's had a serious injury to that arm and we would hope that it's no serious long term injury for, for the rest of his life obviously so let's just hope that Digger and Adrian are back playing next year um, yeah, look, I think it's time that we had a bit of a tip here. I, um, 
you, you can keep naming You're not going time. to pick a drawer again at uh, a time, No, are you? I, 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 each time I look at this scene in front of me, I see better players. I haven't mentioned Daniel O'Brien, um, who normally gets a tagging role. Uh, Daniel Benchgood, who's a, a, normally a Casey Scorpions, he's been performing very well. So there's heaps of players there, Sammy Walker. And then you go to John. You know, the, uh, you can keep naming players, uh, Aaron Coyle, Justin Evans, Chris Dunn, Bradley Walker. So obviously that's why these two teams are in the grand final. Uh, they're chock loaded with talent. And I am expecting uh, one very top game of football. And I'll tip drawn by the slightest margins. I agree there's not much finals experience and I don't take the Mafra club lightly at all because they are final specialists and at Drawn I think there's only two players that have played in a uh, grand final which happen to be Ben and Andy Sanellis but I'm sure that they're going to pass on a lot of experience uh, to, they, to their teammates and I, I'm tipping Drawn to the new new club into the finals and, and maybe win by uh, a goal. Yeah, I think I think it's uh, great for the league. We've got East versus West uh, this time. It's the first time since the restructured uh, league that aside from the East has, has made it through. Um, yeah, I'm, uh, yeah, my heart definitely says true, but I, I just think they're riding that little crest at the moment where you know, Rick Walls are there to run through and uh, I feel like uh, like doing that. I, look, again, uh, to everyone, all roads lead to Morwell this week. One East versus West, as Keith says, uh, the meeting's in the middle. One of these teams will be knocking over that concrete wall. But to all our uh, listeners, I, I know there's heaps of you out there and it's growing every week. But come down to Morwell on Saturday and watch a great game of footy. Thank you very much.